Now, something a little more positive for you. Don't want you to think the whole show is just negativity. This is about a festival. This is my idea for one of those big outdoor summer festivals. This is called Slugfest. <laughs> this is for men only. Here's what you do. You get about 100,000 of these fucking men. You know the ones I mean, these macho motherfuckers. Yeah, these strutting, preening, posturing, hairy, sweaty, alpha male jack-offs. The muscle assholes. You take about 100,000 of these disgusting pricks, and you throw them in a big dirt arena, big 25-acre dirt arena, and you just let them beat the shit out of each other for 24 hours non-stop. No food, no water, just whiskey and PCP. And you just let them punch and pound and kick the shit out of each other until only one guy is left standing. Then you take that guy and you put him on a pedestal and you shoot him in the fucking head. Yeah. Yeah. Then you put the whole thing on TV. Budweiser would jump at that shit in half a minute. And guys would volunteer. Guys would line up. All you got to do is promise them a small appliance of some kind. Men will do anything. Just give them something that plugs in the wall, makes a whirring noise. <laughs> Here's another male cliche. These guys who cut the sleeves off of their t-shirts so the rest of us can have an even more compelling experience of smelling their armpits. I say, hey, Bruno, shut it down, would you please? You smell like an anchovy's cunt, okay? Whoa. Not good, Bruno, and definitely not for sharing. <laughs> this is the same kind of guy that has that barbed wire tattoo that goes all the way around the bicep. You've seen that, haven't you? That's just what I need. Some guy who hasn't been laid since the bicentennial wants me to think he's a bad motherfucker because he's got a picture, a ha ha, a painting of some barbed wire on his eyes. Hey, Junior, come around when you have the real thing on there. I'll squeeze that shit on good and tight for you, okay? No kidding. No kidding. This is the same kind of guy, if you, if you smashed him in the face eight or nine times with a big chunk of concrete and then beat him over the head with a steel rod for an hour and a half, you know what? He dropped like a fucking rock. Like a rock. Here's another guy thing that sucks. These t-shirts that say, lead, follower, get out of the way. You ever see that? This is more of that stupid Marine Corps bullshit. Obsolete male impulses from 100,000 years ago. Lead, follower, get out of the way. You know what I do when I see that shirt? I obstruct. <laughs> I stand right in the guy's path, force him to walk around, he gets a little past me, I spin him around, kick him in the nuts, rip off the shirt, wipe it on my ass, and shove it down his fucking throat. That's what I do when I see that shirt. Yeah. Hey, listen, that's all these Marines are looking for, a good time.